Look who it is. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Rasandi, your favorite guest on her YouTube channel. Okay, stop leaning on me. What do you think about me starting YouTube again after a month long break or almost two months? I have been waiting for you to post for so long. Like so long. And mostly because I wanted to be in it, but you know. Guys, check out her. Follow um, me. Very cool <laughs> Instagram page. Thank you. Follow me here. Thank you. Make me feel famous, please. Unlike me, she is very, very motivated. She wakes up at four in the morning to study. So if you're like a very highly motivated person, I would really suggest you follow her page. Or if you just want motivation, follow her page. Um, but if you're like me, who's lazy and goes through slumps um, and okay. hates vet school sometimes. I feel like um, everybody hates vet school sometimes. I go through Maybe. like slumps where I'm like, I want to quit. Like I actually think of quitting. In fairness, if an old guy came up and was like, I will pay you for existing and you don't have to work a day in your life, I will drop out instantly. So, so you mean like a sugar daddy? Yes. If a sugar daddy shows up, yeah. This, we can't be talking about this stuff. Yeah, right now we're on campus and we're in the cafe. We have a suture practical where we're gonna learn different suture patterns. She did the, she watched the, the videos that we were supposed to watch before the prac and I didn't. So yeah, this is just like the, the definition of not being prepared versus being very prepared. <laughs> to be fair, we watched the same videos we were supposed to watch before the prac, during the prac, so you don't really have to do I did practice suturing, so I did do that. I practiced my, um, the different knots and the different mm. suturing techniques that we learned in our last suturing practical. Mm. Uh, so I did that a few days ago, so I'm not like completely not prepared. Maybe. And Trish is gonna join us, so that'll be fun. Okay, bye. Look at us and our scrubs. <laughs> Look who it is, Trish. Just Trish. I'm sorry, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be practicing our suturing skills. How do you cut it? On fake. I got skin. A sexy one. This one's really nice. So we're done with our suture patterns prac and right now we're just eating some McDonald's. McDonald's. It's been a while since I filmed a YouTube video and I just wanted to like take two minutes out of this vlog to talk about why exactly I've been gone and what my YouTube channel is gonna look like from now onwards. So basically I had a virology exam and a pathology exam. While I was studying for those exams, I just couldn't get myself to film any YouTube videos because I was so focused on doing well in my exams. I basically got really burnt out after the exams because I was studying so hard for the exams and after they were done, I was just exhausted i didn't have any motivation to do anything vet school related and my youtube channel is mainly vet school related um so it didn't make sense to make any videos because i was so just lethargic and lazy and i was procrastinating and i didn't really like vet school during that period i go through these phases where like i love vet school i'm super motivated and then I get into a slump and I don't like vet school anymore and I'm not that motivated, I don't want to study, I don't want to, I'm just basically a couch potato. On top of that, um, as you guys know, I do have a senior dog, like an older dog. She's 15 years old and she lives in India with my family. And so I'm constantly worried about her and she was going through some health issues um, this past one month. So I was just kind of overwhelmed, anxious, focusing mainly on her and how to make her feel comfortable and better during her old age. During those moments, I really don't like vet school because 
in my head I see it as vet school is the reason that I'm not being able to be with my dogs right now um, because I have to be here for my degree, um, for my exams, for my classes, for my practicals, everything. And during those times, I really, during those times, I just really don't like vet school. And sometimes I wonder if I should have done another degree so that I could be more available for my family and for my dogs. And um, it's difficult because it really consumes your life, this degree. I know it's not logical, but I, really don't like vet school because it, I feel like it's keeping me away from the people that I love but does that mean I don't want to be in vet school and I don't want to be a vet in the future? Definitely not. That's the only reason that's keeping me over here otherwise I would have left vet school and gone back to India. Yeah definitely my passion and love for veterinary medicine is what's keeping me over here um, but there are moments where I don't enjoy it, I'm not motivated and that's the reason that I don't make YouTube videos during those slumps. I really really enjoy making YouTube videos, I enjoy editing YouTube videos, um, I find it therapeutic, it feels comforting and it's like a hobby aside from vet school which I enjoy doing and it's fun. So I've decided that while I will make a lot of vet school videos on my YouTube channel, I will also just make videos about my life as a university student in Australia, um, the things that I do, what I enjoy doing, what I don't enjoy doing, um, just a bit more personal. I want to personalize the YouTube channel a bit more, I want to make it about other hobbies and interests that I have, um, the things that I think about and the things that I go through as an international vet student um, or just an international student. So I think I'm going to try and do a nice balance of vet school and then also just my general life as a university student and I hope that I'll be more consistent um, now that I'm making these changes. But yeah, let's get back to the vlog. So the first top that I've got from White Fox Boutique is this cute corset looking top. It's not a corset but it's got the ribbed design and I love the lace detailing on it. The second one is a dress. It's really cute, very summery. I love the lace detailing on it again and I just love the blue color and also it fits perfectly. I love this top. I love the off the shoulder. I love that it's knitwear and it's really cozy. I love the big sleeves. I just love all of it. It's my favorite. And my last item is this really thick knitwear sweater. It's oversized, very cozy, very comfy, and it fits perfectly. I didn't vlog this weekend but I did do some interesting things which I would like to share with you guys. I'm a part of a SIG group. Uh, a SIG group is basically a special interest group that our university or vet school has which is like different interest groups that you can join. There's like small animal medicine group, um, there's wildlife, there's um, I think there's marine life uh, as well and there's also um, veterinary emergency and critical care. So I'm part of the veterinary emergency and critical care SIG and they were hosting an event where basically they were um, taking a few people who signed up to go visit a animal referral hospital. And over there we basically got to speak to a emergency and critical care veterinarian he taught us about some of the cases that he sees um, on a daily basis and how exactly to deal with emergency situations. He taught us a bit more about the ABC way to approach um, critical situations, which is airways, breathing and circulation, ABC, and how exactly to approach that. And then we went on a tour of their referral hospital, which is so cool. They had an MRI machine and a CT scan machine, which I thought was really cool because in India, you don't have veterinary clinics or hospitals that have an MRI machine. So we have 
veterinary hospitals that have CT machines, but we don't have MRI machines. And if you need your pet to get an MRI scan, then they need to go to like a human hospital after hours where the machine can be used for pets. And only some hospitals provide this facility. So it was really cool to see uh, an MRI machine as well as a CT machine. It was really cool to see their ICU and all of their consultation rooms. That was on Saturday. And then on Sunday, on Sunday, I did something really, really out of my comfort zone. So there's this, there's like this um, thing called Friends on Purpose in Australia and they host events in Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. And basically it's for women between the age of 18 and 35 who want to connect with more women and create friendships in the city. Um, and you basically sign up for it and you go for these events and you get to meet new people and make friends. And I'm like a really socially anxious person and I'm also very, very introverted. So it's like really weird that I actually wanted to do this and go out of my comfort zone so i did get a ticket and i went for the event it was a wine glass painting event so we were all like sitting in groups and um painting wine glasses and there were like um little icebreaker questions which we were asking to each other in the group all of them had come over there to make friends so when i got there um we all had like one free drink um, so I got into the line um, to get a free drink because I wanted a glass of wine to like ease my nerves a little bit and I met a girl um, in line and I feel like we got along like we're just like making small talk but I felt like we were getting along and then we were all like divided into groups and we had to sit in separate tables um, and the table that I sat in the girls were really nice they were really sweet I did feel like, I don't know, I just I just felt like the conversation was not flowing with the girls that I was sitting with. They were all really nice girls though. Um, and maybe individually I would have more to talk about, but I feel like that group setting, it was a little awkward. There were a few awkward silences, but I guess like you're, all of them are like meeting new people for the first time, you're meeting new people for the first time. So I guess everyone was a bit nervous everyone didn't know like what exactly to say or do um which is completely understandable overall i think it was a great experience especially for someone who is so socially like awkward and it takes me time to open up um i feel like i did get along with one girl over there but i don't know if it's mutual um but yeah overall i'm like quite happy that i did it it was a good experience would i do it again maybe like in a year not anytime soon because it really drained my social battery and i was exhausted like actually exhausted at the end of the event um but do i regret going there no i don't i think it was a really cool experience i think the people who've created friends on purpose did a really really good job with everything Anyway, so now I am going to go to the gym because I have not gone to the gym in quite some time. Uh, I've been a lazy couch potato and I feel like I need to get my body moving and uh, yeah, let's go to the gym.